Oh, it's a long story. I mean, this tea is my favorite uh, beverage in, um, in my childhood. The grandmother just prepared the, some kind of herbal tea for me and I just love to drink tea from, from the past, from my childhood. But actually in the social life, um, about tea presentation and preparation, it's only some kind of eight years for public presentation of tea culture for all this um, involvement in the tea society, of course, of the world tea society and the global tea projects, such as, a, for example, as a tea master's cup yeah, for this moment. I will also present in that kind of contest for the international tea masters. I'm just like a, a international ambassador of that kind of competition. So that's it. Oh, it's beginning in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm just drinking tea in the kitchen and just inviting uh, my friends to my flat and we're drinking a lot of Chinese tea with Chinese teaware. I'm just ordering it from my Chinese friends. They just presenting me like a barter, presenting my teaware. So it's all, it's all about that kind of um, relationship between people and during that kind of tea session we also educate yourself educate itself and as a result of that kind of education was too many invitation to the different clubs to the different place in riga and after that i just decided to create my own tea club create my own place there are just me yeah, like a like an owner, like a host of this place, and now it's a Riga Tea Club, one of the, I think, interesting places in Riga, where people can drink tea, and tea is like an agent, like a catalyzer, or that kind of condition of your body and your soul, and you're just open to the arts, open to the music, of course, open to the um, drawing, open to the, that kind of poetical, uh, consciousness and uh, so on. So tea is like an agent, and tea is like a, you know, like an ambassador of peace. If we're talking about my insider opinion about uh, tea culture, it depends of it. people will just represent that kind of culture. I'm talking about vessels. I'm talking about each personality who just representing the tea culture. And uh, I think that kind of competition as a tea master's cup also can show the tea culture in my country. But you can enjoy it in the tea culture, just please welcome to my country and you just see it. as too many tea houses, as um, also presentation tea culture in the uh, Horeca segment. At the, uh, also at the streets, you can come to Riga and see how some of the tea masters just brewing tea at the park. Maybe you can imagine this. You also can enjoy it, that kind of tea session. So that's the way it is. But if you're talking about high level tea culture, about high society, high tea society, of course, it's very, very uh, small people. It's elite. And of course, I'm talking about high level of tea. I'm talking about high master of tea and I'm talking about luxury tea. But if you're talking about common tea culture, you, you can just percept it, you can just enjoy it in each kitchen, in each uh, dining room where people, the family state coming together and this drinking tea for life, drinking tea for connection, drinking tea for the trust. So that's the way it is, tea, not only um, ancient medical remedy, is a health drink of health and longevity. It's also like a communication gadget, that kind of device that also can bring you to the next level of understanding yourself. So this festival, like a Chayomir or World of Tea, an anniversary of this festival also can show us that understanding, the trust between people who just coming here and they present this tea to the guests, to the friends and to the colleague.
So if we're talking about tea culture, we need to talk about art, we need to talk about trust, and we need to talk about understanding, of course. If we're talking about the chronology, if we're talking about history and the point of yeah, yeah, any, yeah. any events, we need to talk about strictly about opening tea houses, we need to talk about closing tea houses, we need to talk about representation as a menu of each tea from uh, each country which produces tea. Because tea is um, also like a multicultural product. There are more than 17 countries, 70 countries producing tea. Other countries like a, has a consumer level and they are just drinking tea a lot. So that's the way it is. Um, if you're talking about Latvia, also we need to talk about um, uh, tea houses which was situated there as a Soviet Union mode before Soviet Union more and after if you're talking about this team and uh, this is a similar this is a similar as your country but a little bit different because we are Baltic states and also in Latvia the traditional drink <laughs> of course this is a beer that kind of um, liquid that people drink uh, as a religious aspect as a social aspect it also is that kind of uh, uh, I think this is a not, uh, you know, not, con not contestant drink as a beer. This is a parallel reality. They can mixing together. They can contrasting um, between itself. But they, they can also um, complementary. One of the nomination is a um, example of tea master's cup is a tea uh, mixology when we can mix it tea with the beer or with some kind of alcohol liquid with any dose. So beer also is a drink of health, but quantity, but qu quality, but people who drink it. So if you're talking about my country, there is a lot of uh, tea houses. For example, one of the early tea houses that's opening in the Latvia and Riga is Apsara. I think maybe like a, not Axalis because Axalis is not a, a tea house, it's like a shop, but Apsara has a tea houses, the wall tea houses, not the rented room or place inside the old building, but they're talking about social public tea houses like you know, like real houses in the park near the river, where people, the common people coming, the students coming, the tourists coming, the public people coming there and enjoy it, enjoy the communication between itself. So that's the way it is. But for this moment in Riga, we have um, uh, the purity houses. Mm, I think about. 10 tea houses of my friends and colleagues, they're just strictly just positional as tea houses. But they also presented the herbal tea, herbal culture as a tisan, they presented the yerba mate culture or coffee culture, and they can it show that like a tea houses. Any of them also can present the alcohol beverage, but if you're talking about brutal tea houses, there is only tea, without food, without any. I think about maybe try to, to, to that place that just represented that kind of um, yeah that kind of traditional way of uh, just presentation. Uh, any kind of culture, especially the tea culture, uh, raised by the enthusiasts, raised by freaks, raised by marginals, raised by that kind of passionate people that they just no matter what drinking tea everywhere with. The, anyone anyhow for anybody so i'm talking about that kind of margin uh, that kind of really really mm, you know hipsters maybe in the modern world people that they just making the original not really copying a paste not really replicating some kind of techniques of course they did, but they come into originality and that kind of originality mm, can produce something new as a minimum Actually, tea represents for me only tea. Tea is tea. Meanings is meanings, and we just just pushing that meanings onto tea. It can produce anything. Of course, the the treasures of tea. Of course, of um, I'm talking about the aromatic treasures of the taste abilities. I'm talking about aftertaste and talking about right condition. I'm talking about all these effects that just producing to your body and to your wall your bodies. You know what I mean? So, but 
anyhow tea is also is a you know source of multi meanings for each uh, you know departments for each um, so I'm talking about teaching team in the university so it can be the biological it can be the chemical it can be the of course uh, the pharmacognosic it's a department in each university it can also study it in the uh, philosophic faculty I'm talking about multi concept of meanings of the, what is this the phenomenal for the people talking of all false or the historic or also the medical also finally <laughs> consumers gastronomic tourists and so on. and I'm talking about also mm, mathematics why the mathematics in tea you can mm, look deeper so mm, tea phenomenal uh, are the world people I just percept as a form as a form which can contains uh, multi grants on each forms and each grants represent that kind of concept that kind of micro concept when you're just understanding I'm talking about all this and first of all this is a mythological concept all of this mythological because my world are mythologically for the future myth is meaning the world world and uh, finally when you drink tea finally gastronomically so it's about tea it's all about uh, meanings of tea so and you can draw your other grants you know what I mean maybe tea for you is maybe social and public uh, searching and studying in that kind of department in that kind of science but as for me I'm free of it okay <laughs> all right each tea that I'm drinking or that I'm brewing, I'm just preferring. And for this moment, for this year, and the anniversary of uh, the Chimer Festival, it is honor, great honor for me uh, to um, represent here the um, Latvian herbs. It's very interesting for me to represent uh, that kind of beverages and that kind of tea that is produced, uh, producing by myself and just pick up the leaves, the choosing the time, choosing the ability for, for earth and the sky and I'm choosing my right condition and after that I'm just choosing the method of pre pre not preparation but the uh, production of this tea by using the, all this knowledge, all this legacy of other people, especially the Chinese people, especially these people who are just producing tea from the past, from the ancient past. That's the way it is and uh, after that, I'm just also choosing the method of presentation this teas. Uh, for this moment, for this time, I'm just uh, presenting, uh, I think, about uh, seven uh, kind of uh, teas on, uh, seven kind of herbs from my country. The fermented leaves of raspberry, of uh, cherry, uh, of the apples, uh, fermented leaves of willow herb, and presented uh, mm, fermented leaves of black currant of also of <laughs> your uh, loving cannabis and presenting that kind of teas from uh, from the peach trees interesting beverage so that's the way it is I'm experimenting in that kind of fermentation that kind of um, transformation so it's all about multifunctional um, doing of my person if you're talking about uh, ritual or i think also mythological meanings of the slavian people of course they have a very rich history of using their herbs specialized that kind of herbs on each letter on your own book with some or alphabet no matter and that kind of 49 uh, saint herbs you can use in all the year and you can be a very good health as a minimum and that kind of health can transport you to longevity and longevity of if you're talking about Balteslavian tribes about our ancient past it's about 144 years it's one circle of longevity and you can maybe choosing after that for the second circle so if you're talking about that kind of things we just going deeper and deeper and deeper each tea is a herb <laughs> no matter what, yeah, I mean. each tea is a herb, yes. and tea is tea because the tea culture is very 
prepare a big legacy. <laughs> but if you're talking about maybe, for example, about apple tree leaves, and just imagine that uh, history going to the other way, and we have a very ancient uh, legacy of uh, fermented uh, apple leaves, and that kind of tea is apple leaf. Just imagine that's uh, other reality. But it's tea, and I'm respected.